الحمد لله على إحساني والشكر له على توفيقي وامتنان وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد الحمد لله الله has created people in a different different ways but in these people there is always two types of people one the one who is committed to do evil and the one who is committed to do good or the one who is committed to do evil he will go lang and start engaged in evil nothing but evil in these two types of people one will love to read good stuff and gain knowledge and one will love to read evil stuff and go into his evil cult now there is so many books around the world some read for curiosity some read for knowledge some read just for fun and the best books is the quran followed by the hadith and followed by the books of ulama's but what it is is that there's evil books out there and people read e- these evil books and they fall short now today i'm going to talk about the book called shin alif alif and i'm going to talk about the story of two brothers abdullah and yusuf abdullah is a calm collective man yusuf he just reads book for curiosity for fun and he loves to read the story of the jinns yusuf has friends who he goes to and they sit and talk about jinns hello yusuf came and understood there are books where you go deep into the world of the jinns and what is that book is shin alif alif started searching for this book and he traveled to one of the arab countries to look for that book he found pages here and there and then he keeps on searching and then he discovered that book he can found it in syria He tells he tells his brother go get it for me I'm a bit far go get it for me and he gave him the location the brother his brother goes to the library and he enters the library and he ask the cashier of the library and the cashier told him the book is there but I'm not advising you to get this book Abdullah says no problem my brother is the one who wants it bring that book Abdullah got the book and he opened the book he felt goosebumps and very terrifying images inside Yusuf his brother told him take pictures of it and send it to me he took pictures and sent it to Yusuf Yusuf said this is the book I was looking buy it for me Abdullah Abdullah bought the book took it home within few days Yusuf arrives back and got the book and place the book with other books about satan about whatever the, about jinns place them in his library yusuf lives far away from his mom and abdullah abdullah lives with his mom yusuf lives with his wife with three bedroom house nice house he's got a very good job and he got the book placed it in his library now he's anxious to read the book he goes back to work normally and read one or two pages here and there and goes back to his friends and his friends he tells his friend i got the book i'm reading it man you jokers man that book is nothing his friends tells him that book is full of kufr leave it abandon it yusuf he doesn't listen after one or two weeks uh, yusuf takes holiday from the work specifically to study that book he goes back home and locks himself from the three bedroom there's one bedroom that was his for reading and everything 
So he goes in that bedroom, locks himself and starts reading and reading and reading that book. After a couple of days, his wife start noticing difference in the house and start noticing different from the husband. His face changing, he doesn't shower, he doesn't come closer to them and his two daughters, he has two daughters. He carries on reading his books and one of the nights, his wife hear a voice of a woman in the room and she goes and start banging the door. Uh, Yusuf opens and starts swearing at her and cursing her. And the face which came out from that room, the wife says, this is not my husband. And she goes back to her room and stays in her room. Now, the maids go back to the wife of Yusuf and she narrates. She says, I don't want to stay at work anymore. She asks why. She said, every time I'm in the kitchen, there's a black massive figure standing there and he comes closer to me and he disappears. I can't work anymore. The maid left the job. Now left Yusuf with his wife and two daughters. Now one of the daughters, the younger one, start having marks on the body. Stars and written marks and bruises and everything. The wife says to the, do to the daughter to the uh, hospital and the doctor asks, who beat this girl so bad like this? But in fact, nobody touched the girl, but it was what the father is doing. It is what is Yusuf doing. Yusuf carries on reading the book. What he does is the only time he leaves the room is goes to the toilet and come back to the room. Now that the wife was anxious to know what is happening in that room. A few days back I've heard a woman. Now I need to know what's going on. She waits for Yusuf to come out from the room and goes to the toilet. The minute Yusuf goes in the toilet, she runs and, she runs and checks the room and opens. And she sees a very dark room full of writing in the walls, down, everywhere. Yusuf comes out from the toilet and starts swearing and going mad to his wife. I say, what are you doing? Don't come again here. Go. And the wife goes back to the room and the wife calls her mother-in-law and she narrates the story and she said this is what is happening to your son and the mother talks to the brother the bigger brother Yusuf uh, brother Abdullah Abdullah comes home and sees his uh, brother and he knocks he knocks tuk, 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 tuk. Abdullah knocks the door and Yusuf opens the door and stands in the door and then Abdullah wants to go in Yusuf stops him to put hands in the chest and close the door and they walk together out and then Abdullah tells Yusuf what is going on with you my brother look what you're doing to your family look your wife your children and Yusuf comes and says that is not my wife that is my enemy Abdullah got shocked. I said, this is the book doing to you like this? Yusuf? Yusuf replies back and said, there's nothing wrong with the book. The book is good. It is all you are doing. It's all you have doubts and things in the head. You need to leave my house and be careful of coming to my house. Abdullah got shocked. My younger brother is saying this to me. He's never said this to me. And he left. But worried what is happening to his brother and his family of his brother. One of the nights, his wife sleeping and she start hearing footsteps. And she start hearing the, the taps opening and off, opening on and off, opening on and off. She goes and checks, nothing there. And she goes back in the bedroom, she start hearing the TV on and off, on and off, on and off. And she wonders who is that. She goes 
and checks nothing there. So she goes back in the room. She's in the state of a sleep and fear and a state of a work. And then she sees someone's open the door, massive black figure opening the door. And she screams and sh roll and shuts the door. And the daughters, the two daughters walk soap and she calls Abdullah. Abdullah comes and picks his sister-in-law and the two daughters take them to his mom house and they stay there and they took the little girl to the to a sheikh who reads on her and reads on her and says this daughter is possessed by shaitan jinn and she's got magic and everything like that and the daughter gradually gets better as days go by the situation of Yusuf becomes worse now Abdullah makes a decision he goes and brings three of his cousins one is a Hafiz al-Quran and is a sheikh. They go and take the keys from the wife and go to home. When they go home, they open the door and they go inside Yusuf's house. And they go right to the bedroom and start knocking and start knocking. And then Yusuf does not open up. And then he, they hear a voice a very small voice saying leave me alone they will kill me leave me alone they will kill me leave me alone they will kill me and they broke the door when they broke the door they, the brother Yusuf goes mad and the other brother start reading Yusuf collapses and the state they saw that room stinking filthy Talasim everywhere written everywhere stars everywhere random writing where they've never seen everywhere and the brother fainted because of the recitation of one of the cousins and they took him while he's absolutely dead took him to another sheikh the sheikh reads and reads and reads and read on him they didn't take him to hospital so they knew the problem was magic and possession what he was doing himself so took him to the sheikh the sheikh read 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 and the sheikh finished reading and warned him, this jinn who Yusuf called to the house and called upon himself, they will come and revenge. To so be careful. And the brother Abdullah replies back, he says, they've already done it because they possess the girl, they terrify the wife and everything. So everything is happening already. He finishes, she, they took Yusuf to the house where the mother and Abdullah lives placed him in one room. Yusuf's situation deteriorates because he doesn't eat. Every day, three o'clock, two o'clock, he wakes up and start crying and shouting, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't slaughter me, don't slaughter me. It is them, it is them who brought me here, not myself. Don't slaughter me, don't slaughter me. And the mother, the situation now start becoming bad in the house. His Yusuf sister start having dreams, very bad dreams in the night. And one of the night, the mother stands up for tahajjud and she, while she's praying, she sees a figure, a dark, filthy woman on the side, standing. She screams from the salah. The situation becomes bad in the house. Yusuf's situation deteriorates. Everybody now in the house having kawabis, nightmares. The brother decides I should take Yusuf to the hospital. Now he takes Yusuf to the hospital. He got admitted there because he doesn't eat. He stays there on his own. But the information he gets is the same. That every night when he wakes up Yusuf, he screams and says, don't kill me, don't slaughter me, don't slaughter me, don't slaughter me, don't slaughter me, don't kill me. Now, what Abdullah does, he makes a decision to employ somebody to stay with his brother in the hospital, to sleep with him, to stay there and to monitor the situation. He go a brother, 
and the brother goes there and sits with him. Now, the hospital is a self-contained room. There's toilets and there's everything. So the brother, while he's sitting and looking after his phone and reading, whatever he's reading, he starts seeing the doors of the toilet opening and closing and sees massive black figure opening, closing, opening, closing. And then he jumps and starts, what is going on? And then Yusuf spoke, speaks. He said, listen, they're going to kill you. The brother got terrified there and left the room and goes and calls Abdullah. I say, I don't want a job. I don't want your, this job anymore. I'm leaving. Abdullah asks what's happened. He narrates the story. He said, okay, that's it. The brother left the job, but the situation of Yusuf is deteriorating. But the family is getting better, alhamdulillah, because they're having a regular Quran being read upon them. Now, one of the nights, the doctor calls Abdullah. And he says, I need to see you at ASP. And Abdullah was shocked and wondering what's happening. But he, in his conscious mind and his thoughts coming, something happened to my brother, something, he runs. When he reaches the hospital, the doctor stopped him and says, every night your brother wakes up around three o'clock, two o'clock and say, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. It is them who brought me here, not myself. And one of the night, tonight, he says this, and then he walked up and looking up in the sky and fell flat and never woke up again. Abdullah went inside the room running and he looked at Yusuf. Yusuf is black, his, his face is absolutely scary and everything. His brother is lying there dead. He tells the story to the doctor. This is the situation of my brother. He was very good brother, curious of reading books and this and that. And he get engaged, he got in touch with book, which is very filthy book. And this is what led him today. He's died jinns killed him now there's so many books around the world where these books are bad now i'm warning all those people who goes and read books which have no benefit you go read books which have knowledge not books which is going to bring you and your family down one needs to stay away from books like this because there's so many books so many books which are terrifying books which destroys the individual this was the story of yusuf and abdullah two brothers stay tuned for more stories about the jinn sheikh abu yahya from the Rukya Talk, and the end of the day, and peace be upon the Messenger.